How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. You're about to see some really scary videos. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. Just like this. Our first clip of the day comes from user Sidio Paranormal over on X. It's some CCTV footage taken from an old kindergarten. Take a look. It's the middle of the night and the cameras have caught a child's tricycle moving through the room. The pedals are even moving as though someone's riding it. Could this eerie footage be proof that this old kindergarten really is haunted? Or is it all just a hoax? Let me know where you land on this one in the comments down below. In an unsettling series of events circulating on TikTok, user Batom has been posting videos that have left viewers both intrigued and terrified. These clips hint at the possibility of a haunting within their home, raising questions that blend the supernatural with real life mysteries. It began innocuously enough when Batom returned from a weekend trip to find inexplicable handprints on their bedspread. Assuming it was a prank from their housekeeper, the user dismissed it. But things took a dark turn when they received a harrowing call from the housekeeper's family. The cleaner had emerged had been missing for over a week, prompting her family to file a report with the local police. Suddenly, the mysterious handprints appeared in a much more ominous light. As the days progressed, Batom documented increasingly eerie occurrences around their home. One video shows objects moving around the living room. Then late one night, they noticed this in their backyard. No my man, chavos. Amigos, la neta es que nos habían prohibido grabar. Por eso que no habíamos subido nada. Ven, amor. Several days later, this happened right before going to sleep. Se volver a abrir porque se escuchan ruidos. Literal se acaba de escuchar un ruido. No. No mames. Amor, no mames. As the videos garnered attention, speculation swirled among viewers. The prevailing theory is chilling. Could the spirit of the missing housekeeper be attempting to reach out from the other side? Is she trying to convey a message or perhaps seeking closure? While the mysteries surrounding Batom's experiences deepen, thousands are glued to their screens awaiting the next chapter in this hair-raising saga. As always, I'll put links in the description box down below. The channel is well worth checking out. Okay, so I was in my room. I just heard a loud ass f***ing bang. This next video was shared by the Facebook page Unanswered Universe. The exact origins of the clip are unknown, but it shows a homeowner filming after hearing some eerie banging noises coming from inside of their house. Take a look. Hello? Then there's a clear knocking sound coming from the back door. What the f They look through the window. There's no one there. <sighs> then when they go back into the kitchen, something eerie has happened. What? The f All the cupboard doors are now open. What the f Before the homeowner can make sense of it, the back door produces another loud bang, as though someone or something is trying to get in. F that dude. 
The video cuts off there, leaving viewers with more questions than answers. With the house seemingly devoid of intruders, could this be the work of something beyond our understanding? Whether it's clever trickery or genuine unexplained activity remains a topic of debate. What the f In a spine-chilling incident, Reddit user AdorableRemove4539 shared some unsettling images from their home security system. The still, snapped from a front door security camera, depict what appears to be a white human figure perched on the back of a neighbour's pickup truck. The figure, which was invisible to the naked eye, only showed up in the camera feed, leading to widespread intrigue and speculation among the online community. The OP described an unsettling night in their post. Dogs were barking all night, went out to investigate, didn't see anything on the truck. I checked the ring camera and noticed it was still there. Freaked me out, not gonna lie. Upon hearing their dogs barking persistently, the Reddit user decided to investigate the disturbance. Despite their thorough inspection, the mysterious figure remained elusive to their direct view. However, each time they reviewed the security footage, the white figure was consistently visible on the back of the truck. Here's a comparison shot taken some hours later that shows the scene without the mysterious white figure. This inexplicable episode led the user to go back and forth comparing real-time observation and the digital evidence captured by the camera. Despite multiple attempts, the figure couldn't be seen in person but continually reappeared in the digital footage. The chilling images and corresponding narrative have sparked intense debate on the platform, prompting users to question whether the phenomena is a simple camera glitch or if it points to something more mysterious and paranormal. As of now, the incident remains an enigma, stirring curiosity and adding fuel to the eternal mystery of the unknown. TikTok user Dondon.095 has uploaded a mysterious piece of footage that's left viewers a little irked. Taken from their cousin's home security camera, something odd seems to happen in the alleyway beside their home. A mysterious white form drifts by the camera. In the post, the uploader speculates whether this could just be some smoke or perhaps a real ghost caught on camera. It's certainly an odd sighting, but what could it really be? Love to hear your take on this strange one in the comments down below. In mid-August 2023, Tracy Gray from Halifax, UK experienced something she couldn't quite shake off during a family weekend in Scarborough. While immersing herself in the Paul Heaton gig at the open-air theatre, a peculiar scene in the nearby expansive field behind the theatre disrupted her focus. An unclear human shape appeared to linger for close to seven minutes before vanishing into an inexplicable dark haze reminiscent of smoke. Luckily, Tracy managed to capture a photo before the figure mysteriously disappeared. It looks like a nun standing in the woods. Scarborough, with its rich history, has its fair share of ghostly tales. Scarborough Castle is infamous for sightings of a beheaded man's apparition from the 14th century, believed to mislead visitors to the edge of cliffs. The Grand Hotel, known for its ghost tours and the resting place of renowned writer Anne Bronte in the town, further fuel speculations of wandering spirits in the area. So what's been caught on camera here? Who or what is this mysterious figure? And if Tracy's account is to be believed, how did it vanish in a puff of black smoke? If we have any Scarborough locals watching, I'd love to hear your take on this one in the comments down below.
Instagram user ParanoiNormal recently shared a video that's left viewers stunned. The clip begins with a homeowner engrossed in a video game. But the focus quickly shifts when the homeowner, having long harboured suspicions that his residence is haunted, questions aloud, why do you keep turning off the TV? Why do you keep turning off the TV? Ooh. Before viewers can ponder the question, a rocking chair in the room eerily begins to move all on its own. The visibly shaken homeowner then calls out to his wife seeking validation for the bizarre event. Hey, hon. Come here. Look. No, I can't. I can't deal with that. <laughs> I don't think it's just down here. But from her response, an exhausted dismissal from upstairs, it's evident this isn't the first strange occurrence in the household. As if this scenario wasn't unsettling enough, take a look at what happens next. Oh, I'm not liking this. Oh, wow. Wait. I swear I can see. Ooh, stop it. I'm not liking that. Watching that again in the reflection of the TV, you can see a shadowy figure rising up from the rocking chair. Oh, wow. Wait. I swear I can see. Swiftly panning the camera to catch the figure, he finds nothing. I'm not liking that. The room is empty with no trace of a shadowy figure. This unsettling footage, juxtaposed with the wife's wearied reaction, paints a picture of a household long plagued by unexplained events. Comments on the post range from those expressing sympathy and concern to skeptics suggesting logical explanations like a trick of the light. Yeah, the consensus is clear. Something out of the ordinary has been captured here. Could their home truly be a dwelling place for spirits? Whether one's a believer in the supernatural or a firm skeptic, this haunting video raises more questions than it answers, leaving the internet buzzing with theories. Wait a minute. Oh, I'm not liking this. Oh, wow. Wait. I swear I can see. Ooh, stop it. <laughs> In this disconcerting reel posted to Facebook by Creepy Web, we see what at first appears to be an ordinary bathroom. But take a look at what starts to happen. Watching that again, as you can see, the shower curtains start to move as if they're being pulled by some sort of unseen force. Then, as the man nervously backs away, the door begins to swing closed. As the man re-enters the room, the sound of running water can be heard. It's as if someone, or something, has just turned the shower on. He looks around the room, but there doesn't appear to be any explanation for the strange activity. The notion of poltergeists attempting to contact the living is an age-old enigma that has both fascinated and terrified humanity for centuries. Often conceptualised as noisy ghosts, poltergeists are believed by many to be spirits with unresolved matters or suppressed emotions, compelling them to manifest in the physical realm through inexplicable sounds, disturbances, and even the movements of objects. Some paranormal researchers hypothesise that these entities, rather than seeking to harm, might be striving to convey a message or seek closure. Their intense energy bursts causing physical disruptions might be desperate attempts to bridge the chasm between the ethereal and the material, to be acknowledged or to impart some significant knowledge to the living. The challenge for the living then becomes discerning the meaning behind these strange disturbances and determining whether they signify a call for help or something more mysterious. So does this video show a poltergeist's attempt to contact the living? And if so, why this particular room?
The following video uploaded to TikTok by AlKakui.tv shows somebody walking down a narrow alleyway. At first, you may not notice anything unusual as your focus is probably drawn towards the figure at the very end of the alley. However, if you take another look, you can see that there's a strange face poking its head out of one of the side windows. The face appears to be a creepy dull brown colour, its eyes look dark and sunken and it appears to have black stringy hair. Unfortunately, we're left wondering whether or not the cameraman was able to get out of the alley safely before they came face to face with whatever that thing was. TikTok user Jose Garcia underscore LBA is a popular creator on the platform, best known for making comedic short videos for his followers. However, peppered throughout his account are semi-regular updates about what he believes to be a haunting. In one particular clip, we see some eerie things happening in an old apartment. Take a look. <laughs> The bathroom door appears to open all on its own. He barges in, but there's no one there. That is until this happens. As you can see, there's a young girl staring at him through the window. Just a few seconds later, Jose goes back to look at the window and freakily, the girl is nowhere to be seen. Of course, a lot of viewers thought the girl was a ghost, but perhaps more chillingly, a lot of viewers thought the girl was a real life stalker, watching and tormenting Jose just for fun. Whatever way you look at it, the face is freaky to see glaring through the window and certainly a shock to Jose. In the heart of Mexico, Luan, popularly known online as Joshua Lark, has been consistently sharing his family's unsettling experiences of what they believe to be paranormal occurrences in their home. Originally, Luan's channel was a space for jovial skits featuring his son Joshua. However, the tone quickly shifted when Joshua reported seeing an unaccounted for child in their store. The family's account of events began innocently enough with minor disturbances like unexplained noises. But as time passed, the intensity of the occurrences grew. Multiple members of Luan's family, including his wife and daughter, began seeing a perplexing figure of a woman within their residence. In search of answers, Luan turned to religious and spiritual experts, installing CCTV cameras in the process. Through a medium, it was suggested that two distinct spirits might be haunting the premises. To provide respite for his family, Luan decided on a temporary relocation. Yet, when they returned, they faced even more bizarre phenomena, such as their tap water inexplicably teeming with worms. A priest from Monterey posited a chilling theory, suggesting that Luan himself might be the focal point of the disturbances, haunted due to an ancient familial curse. As of now, the family's still in search of a solution to their spectral predicament. Recently, more spine-tingling footage has emerged from their home, further amplifying the mystery. In one video, Marsha, Luan's wife, can be seen tidying the living room. 
As the camera drifts across their space, an empty room is clearly visible. Yet within moments, as the camera swings back, a dark shadowy figure emerges from nowhere, only to vanish when the camera moves once again. In another video, Marsha's solo encounter is even more harrowing. Alone in the home, she hears the jingle of children's toys from a nearby room. Bracing herself, she begins filming, capturing on her phone an eerie shadow that makes a fleeting appearance in an adjoining space. The family's chilling tales continue to gain traction online, drawing both skeptics and believers in equal measure. For those intrigued by the paranormal, a deep dive into their videos comes highly recommended. Links to their distressing accounts can be found in the description box down below. A light-hearted game among friends took a dark turn, leaving not just the participants, but thousands of viewers spooked. Popular TikToker Priscilla Garzak, known for her engaging content, recently uploaded a video where she and her friends were enjoying a simple game of toss the bottle. Little did they know, the game would soon take an unexpected and eerie turn. The video starts off harmlessly. Laughing and jesting, the friends are seen tossing a half-filled water bottle, announcing playful challenges as they go. <gasps> but as the game progresses, the ambience shifts. The wind, initially calm, begins to howl. <laughs> The group, once cheerful, start becoming increasingly uneasy. Towards the end of the clip, a dark, mysterious shadow near a tree grabs their attention. It has an uncanny resemblance to a figure standing silently watching them. The fun mood dissipates completely, replaced by fear and speculation. Could it just be an innocent trick of the light or something more sinister lurking in the background? The video has since amassed comments from viewers offering their own theories on the strange figure. Many reference the shadow figure phenomenon, while others even suggest the ominous Hat Man, a shadowy entity known in paranormal circles. The once light-hearted TikTok clip now stands as a chilling reminder that sometimes fun and games can stumble upon the unexpected and the unexplained. Whether it was just a play of shadows or something more sinister, the eerie figure has certainly left its mark, not just on the OP and her friends, but the wider TikTok community. A nurse in Colorado Hospital's intensive care unit captured this remarkable photograph while testing her camera's flash in a darkened room. This image is a magnified version of the original. As you can see, there appears to be a ghostly reflection in the mirror. Mirrors have long held a certain mystique in human history, often associated with paranormal phenomena and the supernatural. This perspective can be traced back to various cultural folklore and mythologies where mirrors serve as portals to other dimensions, or as devices that reflect more than the physical world, unveiling hidden truths or foretelling the future. 
In modern times, this paranormal aspect is often explored in horror stories and movies, where mirrors become gateways to terrifying alternate realities or are inhabited by spectral entities. Some paranormal investigators maintain that mirrors can harbour residual energy and facilitate a form of communication or interaction with spirits, a concept known as scrying. However, these ideas remain in the realm of speculation and personal belief, as scientific evidence to substantiate these paranormal claims about mirrors is yet to be found. So could it be possible this nurse has managed to capture a ghostly apparition that's only visible through the mirror? Let me know where you land on this one in the comments down below. Every homeowner knows the sound of the occasional creak and thud of their house settling. But when those mundane sounds are accompanied by events too strange to explain away, even the most rational among us can start to feel a chill up the spine. Such was the case for Reddit user LastMammoth895, whose security camera captured not only an unexpected movement, but also a cryptic voice. Poster was at work when he received a text from his wife who was emptying the dishwasher in the kitchen at the time. She sent him a video clip captured by their security camera in which she noticed a closet door mysteriously swinging open all on its own. A puzzling event given that she was a good 20 feet away in another room. The husband, while reviewing the video however, caught something even more unsettling. Before the door opens, a voice, distinct and clear, can be heard. If he hadn't have been using his AirPods, it might have slipped by unnoticed. When he made his wife aware of it, she was understandably shaken. The initial impression he got was the word higher, but upon multiple listenings, it started to sound more like tire. In a home where odd occurrences are typically shrugged off, these back-to-back -back events were too coincidental to ignore. The voice, combined with the unexplained opening of the closet door, has left them both scratching their heads and feeling more than a little unnerved. So what do you think the mysterious voice is saying? Have another listen and let me know what you think it is in the comments down below. A now deleted Reddit account under the username Janatham caused quite a stir when it uploaded a disconcerting photo booth series. In these series of images taken around 2010, the user and her friend are seen playfully posing. However, the second image of the series shows an unsettling addition. Between the two friends in the second photo, what appears to be a smiling face can be seen. Intriguingly, this spectral visage seems to fade in the subsequent snaps. The uploader's post suggests both surprise and alarm as the friends only notice the unwelcome presence when reviewing the images. The seemingly cheerful yet ethereal face has fueled numerous theories, with the most popular one suggesting a ghostly photo bomber. Skeptics in the community offered a more mundane explanation, however, suggesting that it could simply be a peculiar trick of the light. However, even they struggled to explain why this supposed trick of light bears such a strong resemblance to a face and appears to gradually fade away over the course of the series of images. As the image quickly circulated around the digital space, so did the speculation about its authenticity. Despite the account deletion, the photograph left an enduring trace, a puzzle yet to be resolved. Is it a clever photo manipulation, an odd light phenomenon, or a genuinely unexplainable, possibly supernatural event? Regardless of the varied theories, the sequence of images continues to be a source of fascination, fear, and debate. While the definitive truth behind the image is still shrouded in mystery, the ghostly photo booth image has undeniably earned a place in the pantheon of eerie digital enigmas. Uploaded to YouTube by Kinjo, this next piece of home security footage shows yet another mysterious sighting. 
For the first several seconds of the clip, all seems perfectly normal. But soon, something strange can be seen. Take a look. A strange shadowy shape seems to move purposefully along the path before disappearing from view to the left of screen. Viewers seem unsure what to make of the footage. Some believe the shape is probably just a cat that appears blurry due to the compression rate of the camera. However, it's also been suggested that this could be a shadow figure or even a ghost caught on camera. While this is certainly some strange footage, it seems the true identity of the bizarre shape will have to remain a mystery, at least for the time being. Our first clip, published to the TikTok account f.paranormali, shows a young woman filming a tutorial in a dance studio. All seems fairly normal until this happens. A mysterious shadow passes by at the rear of the room. The girl spots whatever it is, then turns to run away. Some viewers thought it looked like the upper torso of a person floating by. Others were at a complete loss as to what it could be. It doesn't look like a person's full body shadow at all, nor does it seem like there's anything in the room that could be causing it. Sadly, there isn't a whole lot of information out there regarding this video and what happened afterwards, but a lot of viewers suggested that the girl in the clip find a priest and bless the space immediately. CCTV footage from a seemingly normal late night shift for a truck driver has created an internet sensation, spiraling viewers into a fervor of speculation and mystery. The footage, uploaded to YouTube by Nick's Matic, was captured during the driver's overnight haul. It illustrates an unusual sequence of events. Take a look. Watching that again, as the driver leans over to collect some bags that have fallen over, you can see a strange face lurking just behind the driver's seat. What makes this encounter even more spine-chilling is that the driver himself was completely oblivious to the eerie presence. According to reports, he claimed that nothing unusual had occurred during his shift. It was only when colleagues reviewed the footage that the spectral face was spotted. The mysterious sighting has since garnered widespread attention, with many viewers leaping headfirst into the realms of the paranormal for an explanation. Some enthusiasts theorise that the unseen entity, a ghost or spirit, may have been responsible for the unexplained falling of the bags, only to reveal itself momentarily behind the driver's seat. Skeptics, however, think it could just be pareidolia, a psychological phenomenon wherein the mind perceives a familiar pattern, such as a face, where none actually exists. The late night eerie encounter has opened a Pandora's box of theories pitting the supernatural against the scientific in a quest for answers. Whether it's a spirit from the beyond or just our brains playing tricks on us, the incident offers an intriguing mystery that has captured the collective imagination of viewers everywhere. This photo was sent to us by a Slapdown fan named Michael Y. It was supposedly captured by his uncle's wife three days after their grandfather's death. Upon first glance, nothing appears out of the ordinary. Just a sleeping man with a nearby cat's tail draped across his forehead. 
However, in the poster's description, he notes that the frame on the wall usually contains a picture of a vase. Yet in this instance, it shows what the poster believes to be three people. A tall man in the foreground and another man and woman with some stairs leading to a door in the background. The poster thinks that this could be a portal. The anomaly supposedly went unnoticed until his uncle zoomed in on the photograph. The poster believes that the tall man's attire is reminiscent of a Methodist priest from the late 19th century. They suspect it might be somehow linked to his great-great-grandfather who constructed a church in 1855 in Sumrall, Mississippi that was destroyed during the Civil War and later rebuilt in 1867. So what do you think? Could there be a connection between the poster's family's past and the mysterious picture on the wall? Let me know where you land on this strange story in the comments down below. TikTok's become a space for users to share a wide variety of content, from dance challenges to cooking hacks. However, a recent video from the platform has been captivating audiences for far eerier reasons. TikTok user Julia Shortcake, known for her urban exploration adventures, recently shared a video that wasn't from her own escapades, but from a friend's. The footage features two men exploring an old abandoned church, untouched and left to the elements for years. There's a light on. The light's the everlasting light. It's in every church, it's always supposed to be on. It's freezing, actually. As they venture inside, what they encounter is nothing short of chilling. Mere moments after entering the property, the duo stumbles upon masses of wriggling maggots covering the church's carpets. Maggots? Oh my God, it smells. Observant viewers were quick to point out the grim association between maggots and demonic infestation. Oh my god. I'm trying to step on. Oy. That was disgusting. Undeterred, the explorers venture deeper into the church. As they tread carefully, they start to hear what sounds like mysterious disembodied whispers echoing within the walls of the chapel. Oh, I, I hear something. As the pair try to find the source of the bizarre sounds, this happens. Don't. Don't. The door of a child's playhouse swings shut all on its own with no discernible cause. Unsettling video has since taken TikTok by storm, with viewers rapidly sharing and commenting on the footage. Debate has been fierce, with many convinced that the video provides concrete evidence of a genuine haunting. In a recent edition of Ghost Stories posted to the YouTube channel Reviewing History, a man named Steve discussed the origin of two rather creepy photos. The images, captured years ago by Steve's younger sister around the time of Halloween, depict a group of young individuals playing football in a field, presumably enjoying the spirit of the spooky season. But what's caught everyone's attention is the unexpected guest in the second picture. While examining the photos, Steve was drawn to an inexplicable dark figure, seemingly cloaked in black robes. When questioned about the mysterious entity, his sister was adamant the figure had not been there when the photos were taken. She recalled the day vividly having used two disposable cameras to capture the fun-filled moments with her friends. It's been noted that the mysterious figure looks eerily similar to the classic depiction of the Grim Reaper. 
The story has since stirred intrigue, with many wondering about the origins of the phantom-like presence. Was it a mere anomaly in the camera's film, or something more paranormal tied to the Halloween season? As of now, the true nature of the dark figure remains an enigma, awaiting further investigation. A disturbing piece of footage captured by a road safety camera in El Salvador has added a new layer of mystery to a tragic car crash. The video, which made waves after local news channel El Rojo Vivo aired the story and subsequently shared it online, offers a puzzling sight that's left many speculating on its implications. Under YouTube guidelines, the start of the footage is a bit too graphic for us to show. Basically, a car loses control on a bridge, it crashes through the guardrails and plummets into the ravine below. Yet, it's what transpires after the accident that's truly captured the attention of viewers worldwide. As the dust settles, the footage shows a truck passing by. Keep a close eye on the back of the truck's trailer. If you slow it down, there appears to be a dark figure standing on the back of the truck. This unexpected sighting has fueled numerous theories, with many residents attesting to an uptick in strange and supernatural occurrences accompanying tragic events in the area. El Rojo Vivo reached out to paranormal expert Caesar Sagath to provide insights into the perplexing sighting. Sagath suggested that the figure could potentially be a representation of the Angel of Death or the Grim Reaper, arriving at the scene to guide the unfortunate soul of the crash victim to the afterlife. Trasladar, acompañar a todo aquel que fallece hacia el mundo espiritual final. This enigmatic appearance has reignited debates on the supernatural and the existence of forces beyond our understanding. As the community mourns the loss of the driver, many are left wondering about the true nature of this mysterious figure. While filming a video for Snapchat, Redditor Kubebk inadvertently managed to capture something rather creepy on camera. See if you can spot what it is. The poster was travelling in the passenger seat of a car heading towards Tiger Point, a hill station near Mumbai in the state of Maharashtra, India. At the time, they didn't notice anything out of the ordinary. It was only upon returning from their trip and sharing the video that a friend spotted an uncanny detail. If one pays close attention, around the four second mark of the clip, a ghostly hand appears to descend from the vehicle's roof. If you slow it down and brighten it up, the unsettling appearance of the mysterious hand becomes unmistakably clear. Maharashtra is a state steeped in history and culture that also harbours a shadowy side filled with tales of the supernatural. One of the most well-known places said to be haunted is the ruins of Mukesh Mills. Located in the posh area of Kalaba in Mumbai, the ruins of Mukesh Mills are often cited as one of the most infamous haunted locations in the region. An eerie remnant of the city's industrial past, Mukesh Mills was established in 1871 by Muljabai Madhavani. It was one of the many textile mills that flourished during the British colonial era. However, a devastating fire in the 1980s brought an end to its operational days, leaving behind a shell of scorched walls, broken windows and an unsettling silence. Its dilapidated charm and sprawling complex offering an authentic rustic backdrop soon caught the attention of Bollywood filmmakers. However, as the sun sets, the atmosphere at Mukesh Mills becomes palpably creepy. There have been numerous reports by actors, directors and crew members of supernatural occurrences during their time at the mills. Whispered conversations in hushed corridors, equipment malfunctioning without any apparent reason, and chilling cold breezes in non-air-conditioned rooms are some of the common experiences. One famous anecdote that often circulates in Bollywood circles is that of a leading actress who, during a shoot, began speaking in a man's voice warning the crew to leave the premises immediately. 
She had no recollection of the incident once she was back to her normal self. Such incidents have led to a sense of trepidation among many in the industry. Some actors have reportedly stipulated in their contracts that they will not shoot at Mukesh Mills after dark. Though skeptics dismiss these tales as mere urban legends or the result of overactive imaginations, others believe that the tragic past of the Mills has left behind restless spirits. The belief is further fueled by the fact that the mills are built near the sea, which according to a local law is believed to be a haven for lost souls. Given Maharashtra's deep-rooted history and vast cultural diversity, it's unsurprising that the state is rife with tales of the supernatural. This piece of creepy footage captured by Redditor Kubeb appears to further serve the enigmatic allure surrounding the region. Take a look at this photo uploaded to our Slaptam subreddit by user carryfox 16 At first, it looks to show nothing out of the ordinary. Just a happy family celebrating Christmas. Even when you focus on the area highlighted by the red circle, it can be hard to spot the strange anomaly. The user says the photo was captured back in 2002. However, they only recently shared it on Facebook tagging their siblings and a friend. It wasn't until the friend messaged them asking about the unknown figure in the photo that they realized there was an unidentified person in the background. Upon checking with their siblings, they confirmed that no extra individuals were present when the photo was taken, yet there does indeed appear to be another child in the photo. As we said, it can be hard to spot, but pay close attention just next to the kid in the foreground. You can see the faint outline of another child just behind him. Photos of ghost children are often linked to old buildings, historic sites or places where tragic events took place, with the presumption that the spirit of the child remains tied to the location. After reviewing the picture, the event brought up past memories for the poster centered around unexplained incidents that had occurred in their home. These included phantom footsteps, whispering and on one occasion some cans that mysteriously flew out of their pantry. They claim that one time the poster's brother even saw a bloody looking old lady standing in their living room. The poster concludes by noting that although they experienced some eerie phenomena, they never saw ghostly children until seeing the figure in this photo. In this video uploaded to TikTok by Renanas007, we see footage supposedly captured by two security guards working on an 8pm to 8am shift. Around midnight, the co-workers notice something just off in the distance, so one of them grabbed their phone and hit record. Take a look at what they captured. Off in the grass, you can make out some sort of mysterious figure slowly making its way towards the guards. <laughs> Unfortunately, it doesn't get close enough for us to get a good look before the footage cuts out. However, there certainly seems to be something strange about this mysterious figure. If you zoom in, you can see that it almost looks like it's made out of plant material similar to the nearby grass. Either that, or it has a semi-transparent quality that's allowing it to blend in with its surroundings. Best case scenario is that it's simply a regular person, one that the camera is unable to focus on properly. But even so, we have to wonder about the motives of someone lurking alone in the darkness after midnight. Worst case scenario is that this could be some sort of strange cryptid, a shadow person or even a ghost. Take another look at the footage and let me know what you think it is in the comments section down below. A woman named Heather runs a TikTok account called Heat1979. It's mostly full of wholesome family videos. But there's one clip on the account that stands out and not necessarily in a good way. 
In the video, Heather narrates a clip that was recorded by her daughter and a friend. As the two friends talk to the camera in the hopes of making a funny video, something strange happens right behind them, something they only noticed after the fact. Take a look and see for yourself. This is my daughter and her friend. Please watch closely between them. No one else was up in my home. Look between them right I'm a crochet now. Directly behind Heather's daughter and her friend, a strange shadow-like figure can be seen briskly walking past. Look between them right I'm a crochet now. Woman. Slowing the footage down, you can see the figure is transparent and is moving on an odd angle. <laughs> to this day, nobody is 100% sure as to what exactly Heather's daughter and her friend were able to capture on camera. Heather explains that they've always had paranormal things happen around the house, but clarifies that this video is the first time they've been able to get some solid evidence. A lot of comments suggested that it was a shadow person and that they should burn some sage in the house to try and rid the home of any evil spirits. So what do you think that shadowy figure could be? Is it evil or is there another way to explain the sighting? Love to hear your theories in the comments section down below. Um, no one else was up in my home. Look between them right I'm a crochet now. This last photo on our list was submitted to our Slaptam official community over on Facebook by James Laxon. Take a look. The poster says he was on his way to go get his motorcycle when he suddenly had a weird feeling. He then grabbed his phone and snapped a few pics of the back seat of the car. It seems the majority of community members who have seen the photos agree. It looks as though the camera has captured the ghostly image of an elderly man. One viewer even went as far as to say that the poster should get some sage and smudge the inside of his car. Another felt that the figure might be a distant relative, possibly a spirit guide. The image was made even creepier when several commenters noticed that if you look at the far left, there appears to be another mysterious face. While this one is more difficult to make out as it's only half visible, it's hard to deny that the figure on the right does indeed resemble an old man. So what do you think? With so many viewers in agreement, does this photo show a real ghost caught on camera? A recent photo shared on the Ghosts of London Facebook page has the online community buzzing with speculation. The image was taken by a woman while she was exploring potential properties to purchase. While reviewing the pictures later, a particular shot of a hallway with stairs caught her attention. Upon closer inspection, a misty, almost transparent figure resembling a child, possibly a girl, can be seen seated on the steps. The revelation has led to a flurry of comments from the page's followers, with many suggesting that she reconsider the purchase and continue her house hunt elsewhere. With such a mysterious image circulating, it inevitably raises the age-old question, could this be genuine evidence of a spectral presence? Only time will tell if the potential buyer heeds the online community's advice, or if she'll continue to unravel the mystery behind the ghostly apparition all by herself. Mexico, known for its rich history and vibrant culture, also houses deep-rooted mysteries that have both captivated and puzzled many. A recent revelation by the popular podcast Paranormal Podcast only adds more intrigue to the nation's collection of unexplained events. The podcast delves into a peculiar incident captured on surveillance cameras, the evidence of which has caused a stir in both the paranormal and law enforcement communities. For the brave officers who recorded the incident, the footage is more than just unusual. It's deeply unsettling, so much so they've asked to remain anonymous. The eerie occurrence doesn't just happen once, it's an event that mystifyingly appears to repeat every decade. This cyclical appearance led the Paranormal Podcast team on an exhaustive search across Mexico, culminating in the discovery of a particular house. Interviews with security personnel, some of whom have worked in the vicinity for over a decade, corroborated the recurring nature of this strange event. 
While the house has reportedly never had children living in it, an unsettling account from a resident paints a different picture. She recounts hearing noises from the upper floor, eerily mirroring a report made by her late husband just 10 years prior. The homeowner called the police fearing intruders may have snuck into the house. The police arrived, took a look around the house, but found nothing, no sign of anyone. Although the immediate police investigation turned up empty, it's the surveillance footage that sends shivers down one's spine. A CCTV camera positioned across the street has a clear view of the lady's house. Here you can see the police officers leaving the home after the investigation. Moments later, the camera catches something moving in the upper floor window of the home. It clearly shows what looks like three children, with one clutching a doll or even a baby. Bafflingly, their attire isn't contemporary, it's reminiscent of English children from the 1900s. Here it is slowed down. One of the children seems to twirl into view, while another slowly dissipates. Positioned adjacent to a school, one might be quick to draw links between the apparitions and the establishment. However, records reveal no related tragedies or significant events that might have contributed to such a haunting. So what could this be? Given the police testimony, the CCTV footage and the homeowner's account of strange noises, one has to wonder what's really been caught on camera here. In a peculiar incident shared to Reddit by user RileyJoss11, an unexplained light has been captured supposedly ringing a doorbell at 4am. The strange sound you can hear is apparently that of the doorbell. The incident was shared with the Redditor by their mother-in-law's friend who woke up to the unusual sound. While the post is not entirely convinced about the incident's paranormal nature, they acknowledge its peculiarity and have asked the Reddit community what they think it could be. Several viewers thought that the strange light was likely little more than a few spiders' webs blowing in the breeze. However, if this is the case, then how is it able to ring the doorbell? Others also noted that there doesn't appear to be any wind affecting the trees in the background, so why would a spider's web suddenly blow in, ring the doorbell, then leave? Watching the clip, the object's movements are rather odd. They almost seem purposeful, as if it flies up to the door with the specific purpose of ringing the doorbell. As always, we'll throw this one over to you, the viewers. What do you think this strange footage shows? Is it something paranormal? Is there another way to explain it? Let me know in the comments down below. Long before creepypasta became a common internet term and ghostly apparitions were trending on TikTok, there was one disturbing photograph that quietly haunted the darker corners of the internet. This vintage image, rumoured to be cursed, has been making the rounds online for years, making its home in old school forums and obscure web pages. 
No one knows the original source of this picture, adding an additional layer of mystery to the tale. The story surrounding the image is just as captivating as it is unnerving. The photograph is a black and white relic from the late 1940s, immortalising the joyful faces of a newlywed couple. As the legend goes, the original uploader stumbled upon this family heirloom, only to discover something deeply unsettling. A closer look at the picture reveals an odd figure looming in the background. This mysterious person, noticeably devoid of distinguishing features, strikes an ominous figure against the otherwise joyful scene. Family members were unable to identify this strange figure, and any explanation for their chilling presence remains elusive. This vintage wedding photo would be eerie enough with the phantom onlooker alone, but the narrative takes a tragic turn. Legend has it that, shortly after the photo was taken, the jubilant couple was struck by a string of misfortunes. The most devastating among these is a horrific car accident that claimed the lives of several wedding attendees on their journey home. Many question whether this unfortunate series of events could be related to the shadowy figure in the photograph. Does the photograph carry an ill omen? Is the mysterious figure some sort of harbinger of doom, a ghostly apparition, or merely a trick of light and shadow? Until the truth is uncovered, this cryptic photograph will continue to be passed around the web, captivating and unnerving those who stumble upon it. Each viewer must decide for themselves. Is it a mere artifact of a bygone era with an eerie backstory, or a truly cursed image that brings misfortune in its wake? When musician Ben Campbell uploaded this photo to his Facebook account, people began to speculate about what it actually shows. It seems there was one thing that most agreed on, that the photo looks to show a ghostly leg dangling from the drum set. The anomaly looks so clear it actually resembles an x-ray of a person's leg. What makes the image even creepier is the poster claims that someone hung themselves in this very spot. Ghosts, as traditionally understood, represent spirits of the dead who linger in the realm of the living. They've been a consistent feature in folklore, literature, and personal testimonies for centuries, and their stories are as varied as the cultures they come from. One common theme when discussing ghostly apparitions is the idea of residual trauma. Residual trauma, in this context, refers to emotional or psychological scars left behind after traumatic events, which might be so powerful that they imprint themselves onto a location or object. Some paranormal researchers believe that this emotional imprint can be replayed over and over again, especially under specific conditions. These imprints or residual hauntings are not thought to be conscious spirits, but rather echoes of traumatic events that repeat like a looped recording. For instance, a battleground where intense and violent confrontations occurred might be a site where ghostly soldiers are seen reenacting their last moments. The apparitions aren't necessarily the conscious spirits of deceased soldiers, but could be a traumatic energy replayed by the environment. Similarly, homes or buildings where intense emotions or events occurred, be it happiness, sadness or anger, might harbour residual energies that manifest in auditory, visual or sensory anomalies. Many stories and experiences suggest that these residual hauntings don't interact with the living. They merely repeat a specific moment or action indifferent to their surroundings. This is in contrast to intelligent hauntings where the ghost or spirit is said to be aware of its surroundings and might actually interact with the living. The concept of residual trauma manifesting as ghostly apparitions raises intriguing questions about the nature of emotion and memory. If emotions can imprint on our environments, it underscores the profound impact of traumatic events on both the living and the spaces they inhabit. Whether one believes in the paranormal or views these tales as psychological phenomena, they serve as a powerful testament to the lasting effects of trauma and the human need to understand and come to terms with our past. A TikTok video shared by the user Terra S. Nocturnos has recently caught the internet's collective imagination, leaving viewers both intrigued and unnerved. 
On the surface, it depicts a mundane scenario, a motorist stopping at a gas station to have his windscreen cleaned. But as so often is the case with such clips, it's what lurks in the background that's captivated audiences. As the driver films the routine car service, the camera inadvertently captures something far more chilling. Did you catch that? Positioned on a brick wall at the back of the gas station property, the faint silhouette of a woman can be seen. Dressed in a white gown with long dark hair, the figure's most unsettling feature is her seemingly pallid grey complexion. The haunting image instantly sparked a slew of speculations and theories. While some viewers are convinced the video offers undeniable proof of a ghostly apparition, others believe it might just be a case of pareidolia. A psychological phenomenon where the mind perceives familiar patterns, often human faces, where none actually exist. For now, the question remains, was this just a fleeting shadow or a ghost caught on camera? Only time and perhaps more evidence will tell. This photo was posted to the Facebook page Disbelief Paranormal Official by a user named Mark Horton. The man in the very left of the photo's name is Keith, the poster's brother-in-law who he had never had a chance to meet. Keith sadly took his own life after battling poor mental health. Strikingly, the image also seems to show a ghostly looking figure. The poster's mother-in-law is adamant that this is Keith staying with the family while leaving his body to the angels. She's also curious to know if her son is still in some way connected to the photo and wonders if he has a message to convey. Throughout history, across various cultures and religions, there exists a belief that objects can possess spiritual energy or become attached to spirits. This phenomenon, known as spiritual attachment, posits that inanimate objects can carry the energy, emotions, or even spirit of a person or event, resulting in various effects on their current owners or surroundings. It's said that there are many ways an object might become spiritually attached. It could have been present during a traumatic event, absorbing the intense energy of that moment. Alternatively, it might have been frequently used or cherished by an individual, embedding a part of their essence within. Objects passed down throughout generations like heirlooms or antiques are commonly believed to hold residual energies from their previous owners. These objects can evoke feelings of joy, love or nostalgia. A grandmother's pendant or a childhood toy might bring comfort and warmth, or perhaps in this case, a photo of the deceased. The impact of spiritually attached objects often hinges on personal beliefs. For believers, these objects serve as conduits to the past, holding tales and energies that span lifetimes. For skeptics, however, the idea might be dismissed as mere superstition. Regardless, the stories surrounding spiritually attached objects undeniably captivate the imagination, reminding us of the profound connections between the material and spiritual worlds. So then, take another look at this photo and let me know what you think it shows in the comments down below. A recent submission to our Facebook community page has ignited speculation and interest among our followers. Sent in by Temple Franco, the image shows a lighthearted moment, a young girl doing a handstand on Ohio State University's campus. But lurking in the background, there's an anomalous detail, a grey semi-transparent figure wearing what seems to be historical clothing. The origin of the photograph is enigmatic. Temple shared that a friend of theirs had received the image some years ago. When the photo was taken, there were no indications of anyone else being in the frame, especially not a figure from a seemingly bygone era. The haunting figure's appearance is particularly striking given Ohio State University's rich and at times dark history. The campus has been the backdrop for a series of tragedies, the most harrowing being an incident from 1925. 
On a cold January day, several students met a tragic fate after unknowingly consuming medication tainted with strychnine, a deadly neurotoxin. This tragic event, which unfolded in Derby Hall, remains a dark chapter in the university's history. Rumours persisted, suggesting that this was no accident, but rather a sinister act, possibly targeting specific individuals. Since then, students and staff have reported ghostly figures wandering around campus, particularly at night time. Many students and locals have reported sightings of a figure known as the Lady of the Lake. This apparition, often seen during cold, wintry nights, appears to be skating across nearby Mirror Lake, her attire echoing styles from decades past. Given the university's reputation for being a hotbed of supernatural sightings and its tragic past, Temple Franco's photo has undoubtedly piqued interest. With so many tales of spectres and tragic events, one can't help but wonder if the mysterious figure captured in the photo is an echo from Ohio State's rich and haunting history. Our last clip is a vintage scary video from 2008, uploaded by the YouTube channel Short and Stout Guy. It was taken from a paranormal investigation of a house in South Dakota that was allegedly filled with unexplainable events. The homeowners believed that their house was haunted by a small child-sized entity that would often peek around corners or stare at them from down their hallway. A specialized paranormal investigation team known as Spectre was called in to try and make sense of the sightings. They set up a video camera with night vision to film around the clock down one of the hallways of the home. Take a look at what their cameras captured. As you can see, a dark figure seems to peer around the corner of a set of shelves. It's almost as if it spots the camera as it slowly retracts from sight. The uploader insists that this isn't a hoax, nor has the footage been doctored in any way. The OP has said that they have their own opinions as to what they think this sighting is, but invites viewers to come up with their own theories as to what's going on in this home in South Dakota. So I'll throw this one out to you, the viewers. Let your theories rip in the comment section down below. This next footage, posted to TikTok by user alkakui.tv, has left viewers spooked. A homeowner was home alone late one night when they heard what sounded like an intruder in their house. Unnerved, they began filming on their phone as they went to investigate. This is what they caught. <laughs> <laughs> The homeowner discovers a man screaming. <laughs> However, when he takes a second look, the man has vanished. <laughs> With no signs of entry or exit, the startlingly rapid disappearance of the figure has left many wondering if this could be more than a mere intruder. Speculation has been rife, with numerous viewers questioning if the video represents authentic evidence of a supernatural occurrence. Could this be a ghostly apparition captured in the fleeting moments of a TikTok video? I'll leave that up to you to decide. <laughs> Here's a quick yet eerie one uploaded to TikTok by It's Me Chiquito. It's some CCTV footage that shows something rather creepy. A mysterious and fast moving shadow zips along the balcony of a building. Comparing the figure to the people on the bottom floor, it doesn't appear to be normal at all. It's small in size and moves unusually fast. 
Given that the black mass runs along the balcony in a perfectly straight line, this seems to rule out the possibility of a bug on the lens, as it matches the trajectory perfectly. So what do you think this could be? Love to hear your theories on this strange sighting in the comments down below. In March 2019, a chilling image uploaded on Reddit by user Milkboy33 sparked both intrigue and dread among the community. This eerie still was taken from their neighbour's home security system, which had been triggered by motion, detecting someone in the living room during the mid-afternoon. The image shows a grey, featureless figure seemingly moving across the room. What makes it all the more chilling is the fact that no one was reportedly home at the time this figure was captured. The post included an account stating that the neighbour, upon seeing the unsettling image, was left in a state of utter distress. She was reportedly unable to find a logical explanation for the figure and waited outside her home in tears for her husband to return. One user commented that the figure bore an uncanny resemblance to a woman. The commenter even suggested that the figure appeared to be wearing an 18th century style dress with a petticoat, further feeding into the mystery surrounding the image. This mysterious incident poses a significant question. What exactly was captured on CCTV here? Is it a clever manipulation, a peculiar trick of the light, an intruder, or an inexplicable, possibly paranormal phenomenon? Love to hear your take on this one in the comments down below. Reddit user Idle Reflection recently took the online community on a spine-chilling journey when they shared a series of photos on the platform. Dated mid-2022, the images captured on a Ring Home security camera seem to depict an inexplicable presence that has left viewers scratching their heads and perhaps checking their locks twice. The haunting scene unfolded at a townhome complex which has recently been shadowed by tragedy, including a fatal overdose of a homeless man and a shooting incident in its vicinity. Idle Reflection shared the unsettling occurrence that began as an ordinary late night scene. Their friend's son had just arrived home after a night out and was struggling with his keys at the front door when an unexpected guest made an appearance on the live security feed. The homeowners, initially tuning in to check on the young man's progress with his keys, soon found themselves alarmed by what seemed to be an unknown figure lurking near their front door. They promptly called the young man, who insisted he was alone and unaware of the eerie presence despite hearing unexplained noises. However, the mystery deepened as the chilling figure was seen moving in real time on the live feed, seemingly looking back and forth before abruptly turning around and disappearing. This spooky movement contradicted the young man's insistence that he was alone, further raising questions about the identity of the strange figure. Here's an enhanced version of the image. Here you can see the strange figure in more detail. A call for help to explain the eerie apparition has since sparked debate and speculation on Reddit with theories ranging from the logical to the supernatural. The question, however, remains unanswered. What exactly did the camera capture that fateful night? This creepy photo was shared to Facebook by the page Ghosts of London. It was apparently captured at Chillingham Castle, a medieval castle located in the village of Chillingham in the north part of Northumberland, England. The image looks to show a ghostly figure sitting on an old chair. The figure appears to have dark, sunken features, its head turned as if watching the photographer. Chillingham Castle boasts a long history that dates back to the 12th century. With such an extensive past, it's not surprising that the castle is reputed to be one of the most haunted places in the country. Over the years, countless visitors and staff have reported eerie phenomena and mysterious occurrences that have been attributed to the spirits said to haunt the castle's walls. The Pink Room in Chillingham Castle is said to be one of the most famously haunted locations within the property. 
It's named for its pink toned decor, but it's the paranormal tales associated with this room that truly make it notorious. Legend has it that the pink room is haunted by the ghost of the blue boy. Guests and residents of the castle have reported hearing the sounds of a boy crying out in despair from within the walls of the room. Some have even claimed to witness blue halos of light or the apparition of a young boy surrounded by a blue aura, which is where he gets his name from. The story took an even more eerie turn during the 20th century when, during some renovation work, the remains of a young boy were discovered within the walls of the pink room. Disturbingly, the skeletal remains were reportedly found alongside fragments of blue cloth, lending credence to the legend of the blue boy. After the remains were discovered and given a proper burial, some say that the paranormal activity in the pink room diminished, leading many to believe that the spirit of the blue boy eventually found peace. Another paranormal entity that's thought to haunt the castle is that of the White Pantry Ghost, a frail figure dressed in white, believed to be a former pantry boy who would guard the silver. Legend has it that one night a footman attempted to steal some of the silver, and when the boy confronted him, he was killed. Now the pantry boy's ghost continues to guard the pantry and visitors have reported feeling a cold hand grab theirs when they reach into the inner pantry. So could it be possible that this photo has captured proof of one of these spirits that are said to haunt the old castle? Take another look at the image and let me know what you think this could be in the comments down below. The realm of the paranormal is one that's intrigued and bewildered humanity for centuries. And now, in the age of technology, there's an increasing number of platforms for investigators and enthusiasts to share their findings, including the popular live streaming service Twitch. The newest sensation in this domain is a group known as Haunt Hunters, a collective of paranormal investigators who traverse the US, covering terrains from Utah to South Carolina. Their method is distinctive. They invite the public to join in real time during their investigations, live streaming their ghost hunts on Twitch. Recently, during one of their spirited expeditions, the Haunt Hunters made a stop at the historical Ritz Theatre in Tuel, Utah. The theatre, a mainstay on Tuel's main street since 1939, has been the subject of numerous ghostly tales over the years. And now it seems the Haunt Hunters have added another layer to its enigmatic lore. While the theatre itself is a relic of cinematic history, having showcased countless movies over the years, it's the tales of the supernatural that have really kept its legacy alive. The Bradshaw family, custodians of the Ritz Theatre for generations, are not just guardians of the theatre's cinematic history, but also its spectral narratives. Their experiences, passed down and discussed over the years, have added a shadowy layer to the theatre's ambience, making the Ritz a magnet for both film aficionados and ghost hunters alike. One evening stands out prominently in the Bradshaw Chronicles. Alan Bradshaw, after overseeing a typical night of screenings, was making his usual rounds to ensure that the theatre was empty and ready to be locked up. It was during this routine check that he was caught off guard. Peering into the dimly lit auditorium, he saw the unmistakable silhouettes of a man and a woman, seated comfortably as though waiting for a film to begin. Their presence was an anomaly. The night's show had ended, the audience had left, and the theatre should have been vacant. Puzzled, Alan called out to a nearby employee, questioning if they'd perhaps missed ushering out a couple. His daughter, Cherie Black, who was 13 at the time, curiously followed her father's gaze. She too saw the couple. However, as both turned their attention briefly away, then back to the auditorium, the pair had vanished. The subsequent flick of a switch flooded the space with light, confirming the auditorium was, in fact, empty. Resident LaDawn Tracy became engrossed with the theatre's phantasmic reputation. Living in the upstairs apartment of the Ritz building, Tracy noted her own brushes with the ethereal, sensing the presence of spirits whom she believes to be former employees of the theatre. On the fateful night of the Haunt Hunters' visit, as fans tuned in to their Twitch channel, the team meticulously set up their equipment. What's up? Oh, 
Alright, I'll be right back. Hours into their investigation, one of the cameras placed strategically within the theater picked up a chilling sight. Here. Watch. Shine a light, nothing. Shine a light away. Something's starting to get darker and then it starts walking down. Reed stopped. He's already all the way down. He's now stopped and the shadow keeps going, has stopped and is now walking more and more. It gets to Reed and then disappears completely. Another shadow has manifested, is walking down. Dude, I you know, this is the craziest thing we've ever caught. Walks down the aisle, you'll see it start to go to the right and then sit down on the bench. Two shadowy figures, one after another, seemingly appear out of thin air. They stroll down the aisle before vanishing. Stopped, and the shadow keeps going, has stopped and is now walking more and more. It gets to read and then disappears completely. Another shadow has manifested, is walking down. Dude, I you know, this is the craziest thing we've ever caught. Walks down the aisle, you'll see it start to go to the right and then sit down on the bench. When reviewed in slow motion, the distinct outlines of two human figures are unmistakable. Could these be the spectral ushers that Ladorn Tracy spoke of? Or perhaps the mysterious couple the Bradshaws once saw? While skeptics may dismiss it as tricks of the light or camera glitches, the eerie coincidence of these figures aligning with local legends does raise eyebrows. The old Ritz Theatre's legacy is rich with cinematic memories, but it's these supernatural encounters that truly make it legendary. Whether or not you're a believer, the footage and tales surrounding the theatre are undeniably captivating, offering a tantalising possibility of a world beyond our own. And then it starts walking down. Reed stopped, he's already all the way down, he's now stopped, and the shadow keeps going, has stopped and is now walking more and more, it gets to Reed and then disappears completely. The Anglican Cathedral on Churchill in Newfoundland, Canada holds a haunting tale that draws many to its historic walls. Construction of the stone cathedral of St John the Baptist began in 1843. However, it was destroyed in the Great Fire of 1846. Undeterred, construction of the present cathedral began the following year. However, it's said that sometime around 1850, tragedy struck again when a stonemason plummeted to his death. As a tribute to the completed nave, the masons posed for a photograph in their finest attire, seen here posted to Reddit by user Meg111421. But when the image was developed, a chilling discovery was made. A ghostly figure can be seen standing at the left end of the photo. It's said that this is the deceased mason. This eerie photograph now resides in the cathedral's museum. Amplifying the site's mysterious aura is its cemetery, which dates back to 1699. For a period of time, the dead were laid to rest on top of one another, potentially numbering over 20,000. Due to natural shifts in the terrain and seasonal changes, it's not unusual to find bones emerging on the adjacent Duckworth Street pavement. This next unsettling clip has gone viral over on TikTok. Take a look. Shared by user elkakui.tv, we see a rocking chair moving. As if this wasn't eerie enough, the reflection in the window seems to show a child sitting in the chair. This creepy clip has taken off, racking up over 2.4 million views. While some viewers claim they can see a cut in the footage, others are certain this video shows the spirit of a child. So where do you land on this one, real or fake? Let me know down below. Late in 2022, TikTok user Whitney Lynn Allen uploaded a video that's been turning heads and tugging at heartstrings. Footage from a baby monitor shows her young son Leo asleep in his crib. 
Near his head, a mysterious light appears to hover and move gently. Whitney revealed that her husband passed away in April of 2022 when Leo was just three months old. She believes this unexpected light might be her late husband returning in some form to comfort their son. The video has led to a flood of comments, theories and heartfelt condolences. While some debate the source of the light, others are moved by Whitney's belief and hope. Whatever the case may be, if this footage brings Whitney some comfort, then that's all that really matters. This footage was sent to us by Slapped Ham fan Alan W. Take a look. He claims that about 22 years ago, he and his wife purchased their first home in Sunderland, UK, which was originally built around 1880. While decorating their bedroom, a face mysteriously appeared on the wall. What was even stranger is that it kept reappearing even after multiple attempts to paint over it. Unable to remove it, the couple decided instead to cover it up by putting a fitted wardrobe alongside the wall. Additionally, the poster noted that they experienced other odd occurrences in the house, such as the TV randomly changing channels and bathroom taps turning on by themselves. Oddly, there have been several accounts of enigmatic faces that mysteriously manifest on walls throughout history. These perplexing phenomena have both experts and laymen baffled seeking explanations from the realms of the paranormal, psychological and even geological. One of the most famous cases is that of the faces of Belmez in Spain. In 1971, in the small Spanish town of Belmez de la Moralida, Maria Gomez Camara claimed that a face spontaneously appeared on her concrete kitchen floor. Despite attempts to remove and replace the floor, more faces began to emerge. Over the decades, the faces, which varied in expressiveness and clarity, became a significant tourist attraction. Numerous theories have been proposed, ranging from a hoax using chemicals to photographically imprint faces, to psychic manifestations of Maria's subconscious, and even spirits of the dead. However, a clear consensus on the cause remains elusive. So then, is this strange face-like image seen in Alan W's video an example of this mysterious phenomenon? Or is there another way to explain the occurrence? Love to hear your thoughts on this one down below. Was I surprised? Uh, yeah. While watching a recent interview with Johnny Depp at the Cannes Film Festival, Redditor Air Oasis noticed something rather strange. At the 427 mark, a dark figure can be seen passing by the camera. <laughs> We're discussing. Um... While some viewers thought that the figure was just a regular person, others noted its unusual speed as a sign it could be something unusual. Shadow people are often described as moving swiftly or instantaneously from one location to another. Their speed, along with their appearance, often contributes to the eerie and unnerving accounts from those who report encountering them. So could this mysterious figure that was inadvertently captured in this video be a shadow person? Let me know what you think this could be in the comments down below. We're discussing. Um... A perplexing image recently surfaced on our Facebook community page, leaving members curious and somewhat unnerved. The photo, shared by user Real Chris La Prairie, dates back nine years and was taken at his mother-in-law's front yard. At first glance, the photograph appears to be a standard family snapshot, but upon closer inspection, a chilling detail emerges. 
If you look closely, a small, unexplained hand rests gently on the woman's shoulder. Given that you can clearly see the rest of the family's hands, this unexpected appendage is hard to account for. There was no one else around when this eerie image was taken. This uninvited guest has stirred up a whirlwind of speculation and theories among our Facebook community members. A prevailing thought suggests the possibility of a young spirit making its presence felt. Whether it's an optical illusion, a trick of the light, or something more supernatural, this photo just gets creepier the more you look at it. An incident that unfolded in 2019 continues to intrigue paranormal enthusiasts and skeptics alike. Jennifer Hodge, a mother residing in Atlanta, Georgia, claims to have captured the ghostly image of her deceased son on her home security camera. The unusual event occurred while Hodge was in bed watching television with her daughter Lauren. She received a phone notification alerting her to the presence of a person in her kitchen. To her shock, the image revealed a male figure bearing a striking resemblance to her son Robbie, who tragically passed away from a suspected drug overdose two years prior. The camera, triggered by movement, had captured an image of what appeared to be a transparent figure, complete with a beard resembling Robbie. Hodge and her daughter rushed into the kitchen but found no signs of intrusion and the mysterious figure had vanished. The image, hauntingly clear, seems to depict a man in white pyjamas. Though initially terrified by the apparition, Hodge has since found solace in the incident, believing it to be a sign that Robbie is at peace in the afterlife. Despite her consolation, she admits to still being in a state of shock and confusion over the strange happening, describing it as an insane and crazy experience. Robbie, who passed away at 23, is remembered as a kind-hearted individual by his mother. Together, they had established a charity aimed at combating addiction by leveraging real estate, earning both national and local recognition for their efforts. Hodge confessed her uncertainty about the incident, expressing a desire to compare her experience with those who might have encountered similar apparitions in their home security footage. Yet, as she still grapples with the startling event, the memory of her son persists, his transparent image offering a strange comfort amidst the unanswered questions. While the veracity of the ghostly encounter remains uncertain, the incident has sparked widespread discussion. Is this just an unusual trick of the light, a technical glitch, or a paranormal phenomenon? As the debate continues, Hodge's experience serves as a poignant reminder of the powerful bonds of family and the enduring search for understanding in the face of loss. Redditor Beat It Up 420 thinks that their parents' house might be haunted. In this Nest security footage, we see something eerie taking place. Some viewers thought that the shadow might simply belong to someone who's off camera in the other room. However, while replying to a viewer's comment, the poster noted that in the 1950s, a couple owned the house. Tragically, the woman succumbed to health complications and died within the home and the man met with a fatal accident falling off the back porch. It's uncertain whether these events might be related to the home's history, but the poster adds that they always get an eerie feeling when they go and visit. One viewer in particular believed that the strange dark shape had characteristics that are often associated with shadow figures. It appears to be transparent and moves at a great speed. So what do you think about this one? Does the footage show a paranormal entity caught on camera? Or is there another way to explain the mysterious sighting? Let me know in the comments down below. Tourists often visit Rio de Janeiro to experience its vibrant culture, sun-soaked beaches and lush landscapes. But for one visitor, a trip to a waterfall in Rio Claro turned from scenic to mysterious in a heartbeat. In a video clip that's been circulating on TikTok, courtesy of the account TikTok Sobra Naturais, a visitor captures the beauty of a cascading waterfall. But as the camera pans, it captures something rather unexpected.
The distinct silhouette of a figure amidst the crashing water can be seen. The tourist surprise is palpable as they exclaim about the shadowy presence, urgently asking their partner if they saw it. While the video's origins remain shrouded in mystery, its rapid spread across social media platforms is a testament to its chilling allure. With the footage sparking curiosity and debate, viewers are left wondering, is this a trick of the light, an optical illusion, or something genuinely unexplained? As the debate continues, one thing remains clear. This waterfall in Rio Claro has gained notoriety for more than just its natural beauty. The overwhelming dread that grips a parent upon witnessing something inexplicable in their child's room is likely a sensation unparalleled by most fears. Imagine the heart-stopping moment of walking into your one-year-old daughter's bedroom, a sanctuary of innocence and safety, only to see a rocking chair moving all by itself with no apparent force behind it. That's exactly what happened to Reddit user Swiss Army Doc, who claimed they had been in their house for less than three months when they captured this unsettling footage. The poster says they were checking in on their one-year-old daughter who was crying in her crib when they walked in and saw this terrifying scene. So how does one explain the goings-on captured in this video? Is it the work of a playful or possibly even jealous poltergeist? Or is there another way to explain the chair's mysterious movement? Let me know your thoughts on this one down below. Here's another one coming from the Ghosts of London Facebook page. It shows what some believe to be a paranormal entity. The original poster mentioned that the woman in the photo is his mother, cradling his newborn son. He further highlighted that the enigmatic figure in the background doesn't cast any shadow and was not present when the photograph was captured. The poster showed the photo to his neighbours who told him that the previous family who lived in the house had a son who sadly passed away. If you look closely at the strange figure, it seems to be wearing a white shirt and black suspenders. However, the creepiest part of its appearance is its dark, transparent head and featureless face. When the photo was posted online, viewers immediately attempted to explain the anomaly. One suggested that the photo might have been taken in a restaurant and that the mysterious figure was actually a waiter in the background. Others thought that the figure's attire suggested it might be a ghost from a bygone era. Whatever the explanation might be, it's hard to deny the creepy scene that this photo portrays. So what do you think it shows? Could it really be a ghost? Or is there another way to explain the figure's appearance? Love to hear your theories on this one down below. A video posted by Facebook user Adelia Putri has caused quite a stir among netizens. Recorded by Indonesian workers, the clip shows something rather strange. As the workers arrived at 9am, they saw this bizarre sight. There's clearly no one sitting in the driver's seat controlling the vehicle. The footage has led to a cascade of speculations and theories. Some are convinced that this is the handiwork of a ghost, suggesting that perhaps a former worker or someone attached to the machinery is making their presence known. Another intriguing theory posits the driver might have momentarily vanished due to a time slip or portal rendering them invisible to onlookers. As always though, I'll throw this curious piece of footage out to you, the viewers. Love to hear your take on this one down below.
When we think of haunted places, we usually think of old hospitals and graveyards. However, this next clip, shared to our Slaptam subreddit by individualball966, might just show that ghosts are actually all around us. Take a look. If you watch closely, you can see what appears to be a transparent white figure darting out from the tree line on the right and running across the path. While some viewers thought that it might simply be an optical illusion caused by the tree branch in the foreground, others weren't so sure. One thought the figure resembled a little girl in a white dress. The uploader of the video replied, noting that if you zoom in, it actually looks like a man wearing a hat and trench coat. Haunted forests are a prevalent theme in folklore and paranormal mythology around the world with numerous such places reputed for their eerie ambience and unexplained phenomena. The Aokigahara Forest, or the Sea of Trees in Japan, is often considered one of the most haunted woods in the world, due to its association with numerous suicides and eerie silence. The Hoyabaku Forest in Romania is also infamous for its paranormal activity, with reports of UFO sightings, ghostly apparitions, and inexplicably warped vegetation. In the United States, the Freetown Fall River State Forest is known for reports of supernatural activity, from sightings of cryptids to ghostly apparitions and mysterious lights. There's no information on where this video was captured, which makes it difficult to speculate any further on what this ghost-like figure could be. So what do you think? Ghost or optical illusion? Cast your votes in the comments down below. This creepy image, captured around 2003, was posted to Reddit by user Chuani Chuan Chuan. According to them, all 18 children are listed by name, except for the transparent one in the bottom left-hand corner. What heightens the mystery surrounding the spectral figure is that none of the other students could identify them. Further deepening the intrigue, the translucent child seems to be turned sideways with their hand veiling their face as though attempting to conceal their identity. The idea of a ghost child is particularly unsettling because it clashes with our intrinsic beliefs about childhood as a time of innocence, purity and joy. To think of them as spirits suggests an untimely, often tragic halt to that potential, which is a deeply distressing notion. Furthermore, the vulnerability and innocence associated with children makes the thought of them being trapped between realms even more haunting. There's also the uncanny valley effect where something appears almost human but not quite, creating a sense of unease. A ghost child being both familiar and unfamiliar might invoke this feeling more strongly than other apparitions. Yet while the notion of ghost children unsettles many, it's often left to interpretation, relying heavily on individual beliefs and experiences. So as always, we'll throw this one over to you, the viewer, for final judgment. This last one was posted to our Slaptam subreddit by user Jackalope8770. It's some footage a friend of theirs caught after hearing some strange knocking sounds coming from their kitchen. This is what they caught. What the hell? No way. The hell? The cupboard door is moving, seemingly all on its own. No way. Jokingly, many viewers blame the activity on the Mike Wazowski mug referencing the popular Pixar movie Monsters, Inc. Others, however, warn the homeowner might be dealing with a poltergeist and that he should burn some sage to try and rid the space of any unwanted spiritual activity. Either way, let me know where you land on this strange piece of footage in the comments down below. What the hell? No way.
If you want to watch some more scary ghost videos, then check out that link on the top there. Otherwise, there's a massive playlist right there. Now, if you love what we do here at Slaptam, consider becoming a member. There's a little join button there that'll pop up with all the benefits our members are currently enjoying. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. 